I can't believe I finally got my holy grail unicorn from Chanel and for my birthday month. Come on, come on. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Amy and today I'm gonna share with you my birthday haul. Thank you so much to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. On me today, I am wearing these earrings and these two necklaces. Of course, I'm gonna put some close up and oh my goodness, I'm so sorry guys, I'm glowing because we are having this heat wave, super, super bad heat wave and it's so hot. So excuse my sweaty face. And I also have another piece right here. It's another pair of earrings, which I'm gonna put some cutaway so that you can see how it looks like. Uh, by the way, they come packaged like this. Super simple, very sustainable way of doing packaging. They also come with these suede pouches, which I really, really love. I love these for traveling, but I also got this new pouch this time. And this one is magnetic. These are the Roxy's. I think these are the small Roxy. Basically, there's two sizes. There's the mini one and there's the larger one. These are super cute, very aesthetic, like my niece was saying, because I sent her these same ones as well, but I sent her the mini version and she loves them. Don't they remind you of the Hermes CDC pattern on it, which is what I'm wearing here on my ring? It's so super cute. That's what really drew me to choosing this pair. On my neck, I have two necklaces. I have this little sort of bean detail pendant, which is super cute. It reminds me again of the Tiffany bean, I think. So cute, I just love it. And this chain also reminds me of the Hermes Shendong, which I thought was so beautiful. All these pieces that I just showed you are all fine jewelry, so they are sterling silver based and gold plated. I think 14 karat gold plated. I love stacking these two together or I like wearing them separately as well. I think on their own they stand out really well. They are all adjustable. There's three different settings. So definitely check it out in the description below. They are having their summer uh, sale right now, which is 20% off site-wide. So up next, I wanted to introduce you to one of the best self-care or uh, sleeping device that I have come across. I have not slept this good in a long time. This is the Sleep and Glow pillow. It is an orthopedic pillow. This pillow was sent to me as a gift. But if you don't mind, I will tell you what I love about it so much. And I honestly feel like if you have sleep problems and if you have been looking for a new pillow and you just don't know what to go for because that's been me. So let me just tell you a little bit about it because I just cannot say enough good things about it. So it's a memory foam pillow and it's designed with this dip here on either side of it. It is developed in collaboration with cosmetologists, orthopedists, and sleep specialists. It has this additional internal foam layer so that you can adjust to a thicker height. So if you have a bigger build, then you can also use this additional layer. I'm using it alone without this layer, but you can definitely add this layer as well. It's included and all you do is just insert it in the same pillowcase that it comes with. The pillowcase itself is a 100% pencil material, which is a natural fabric made of eucalyptus. They also have this pillowcase in silk if you wanna buy an additional one. After sleeping on this pillow, which I have been for the past two weeks, I feel like I wake up so much more refreshed. I don't know what it is. I think I think maybe it's the shape, the design of it, and the fact that I am a back sleeper and a side sleeper. I usually start off on my side because like I said, I toss and turn a lot. I take a long time, sometimes hours to just fall asleep. So I usually start off on my side. Usually whichever shoulder hurts less that day, I just start on that side. Once I'm asleep, I'm a back sleeper. I just wake up sleeping on my back and I guess that's what my body prefers but when I fall asleep it's so hard to fall asleep on my back which is why this pillow is literally made for me and I think for a lot of people the sides on this pillow are concave and it is designed so that not only does it support your neck and your face when you sleep, but it also helps with reducing wrinkles. You don't have this extra material right here that is right up on your face and squishing your cheeks and your eyes. So really it is a beauty device because not only is sleep, you know, we call it beauty sleep because sleep rejuvenates you and also the fact that it doesn't squish your face. It has the shoulder cradle, upper head support right here on each side so that when you sleep on your side, then the upper 
part of your head is supported. Right here we have the face cradle and right here is where you would rest your head on. It is certified and tested for harmful substances under the strictest requirement for product safety. This is definitely a long-term investment. It will last you up to five years, at which point you should probably change your pillow like any like any pillow you should change your pillow every after so often i always used memory foam pillows before but this one is extra special and it's designed for preventing wrinkles and puffiness in the morning which is perfect for all of us ladies who wants to keep young especially like i'm turning 40 now uh, but i highly recommend this one if you want to check it out or if you're interested in knowing more details i'll have it linked down below and i also have a ten dollars coupon if you want to use to save ten dollars at checkout they have a 30-day trial period so if you really don't like it or if it really doesn't work for you you can always get your money refunded. I'm just so glad that they reached out to me because I have been looking for a pillow for the longest time and every time I tried a new pillow it just... I always wake up with neck pains and I just don't know why. I mean, I know why but I don't know why. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I know I have health issues but it can be better and I just haven't found the one and this this I think really is has been um, a godsend. So let's unbox my holy grail. Oh my goodness, holy grail unicorn. From Chanel. A lot of you Luxies who are part of our luxury live show that I host with Kat have guessed what I got and surprisingly a lot of you got it right. I'm like, I mean you guys, you guys know me so well. I'm not shocked I guess but I love that. Anyway, if you're not part of our luxury live show, why not join us every Friday at 8 p.m. Western time, so Pacific time. Um, but if you're not part of our luxury live show, I would still want to know what you think that I got. It is part of my wish list, and this is, you know, my treat to myself for my birthday. But I'll unbox it first, show you what it is, then we'll then we'll talk story time. So of course, it comes in the beautiful tissue to reveal, ladies and gentlemen. It's a white dust bag. <laughs> yes, um, it's a classic flap. I know, um, but which one? I mean, it's probably not that hard to guess. Which size? I think color is probably easy to guess because it is from the current season, the 21A. And by the way, I also got this in the 21A collection. I unboxed this a few weeks ago. And I bought this first because I was after this as well on my wish list. I have been asking my essay for years, at least two I think, about the vanity case. So I bought the vanity and I thought I was going to be done with the season because I, I mean, I did ask my essay at the same time, oh, do you have this as well? Because uh, this was also part of my wish list. And she said no. She actually said no. And so I, already gave up. That was still before the official launch in Canada, which was June the 9th. So I, or I had already given up because usually when my essay tells me that it's not available, it really means it. It really means that it's not available. So let me reveal it first because I know I've already been talking too much. <laughs> yes, it is the classic flap in the gray color from this season, 21 a and it's a beautiful beautiful gray color it's a light gray let me remove everything um and then show you the bag in its whole beautiful glory this is the small size classic flap in the light gray color from 21a it is absolutely my dream wishless bag that I I don't have. I, I don't have a classic flap. This will be my first. But it is also in the most perfect color for me. Like I said before, I'm not a stickler when it comes to, you know, classics or non-classics. I'm just as happy with my 
seasonal bags. And I've said many, many times that classic flaps are so expensive that I just couldn't make myself pull the trigger, but it has been my wish list for forever. <laughs> and I decided that, you know what, I'm just gonna try to hunt it down as much as I can, whether it's going through a reseller or asking all the other stores in Canada. Usually with new launches, with brand new launches, uh, stores in Canada, they don't do transfers. So sometimes I get lucky if I call them directly and if that essay was helpful, but nine times out of 10, they don't do it. But I was willing to try anything, right, at this point. And of course, I contacted my essay again to tell her that if it ever comes, please let me know because I've been after a classic flap for the longest time and I didn't pull the trigger. And the only reason why I would pull the trigger is if the right color comes along. And I was so shocked that my essay actually did reply to me the second time around and told me that we have one. Do you want it? Honestly, there was a lot of luck involved, but also the fact that I asked at the right time. I was really just in the right place at the right time because prior to the launch date, we didn't have it because my essay said we didn't have it. And after the launch date, I asked again, I told her if we ever get it, because I know that a lot of stock gets trickled in, especially with the pandemic. A lot of times they don't really have everything on launch day. Things can still trickle in after the launch day. So I just try to keep my doors open, ask her to keep an eye out and just let me know if we have it. And she actually said yes. So I was like, oh my goodness. So yes, I am super happy. I have been using it for a little bit already. Uh, of course, I did the unboxing just for you guys so that you can see revealing my unicorn. But yeah, I think honestly, this is probably my only classic flap because oh my goodness, they are so expensive. Even before the price increase, I of course I got this before the price increase, but even before the price increase, it was already so much money and now it's just astronomical. It already was astronomical, but I told myself I'm gonna bite the bullet just this once because perfect color came along. It suits me super, super well. I love the fact that we actually had a small size available and I was open to the medium size too, but I thought, you know what? The medium and the small wasn't that big of a difference anyway. And I do love my small size. And I also hear that between the medium and the small, they are the same drop, but the small will probably look more proportional when it comes to a crossbody, if I wanted to wear it as a crossbody. So there were just, you know, all these things just worked out for me. A quick side-by-side -side comparison of the colors. So I have a total of three gray bags at this point. My Lady Dior is definitely darker. So this is the pearlescent Lady Dior. It's definitely darker than the 21A. My other gray bag is this Coco Handle from 19P. Is it 19P? I think it is. 19P, so spring of 2019. And it is almost a white gray and it is in a matte caviar versus a shiny caviar for the current season. Both are beautiful, but side by side, you can definitely tell that this one is sort of like a white gray. And they're both really, really pretty. And by the way, look at the size difference. The mini cocoa handle or the small cocoa handle actually is literally bigger than the classic flop small. Just to give you another visual, this is my mini uh, rectangle. Uh, yeah, this bag is small. I'm not gonna lie. I, I love it because of the idea of being a classic flap and the fact that I have been after it for a long time, just haven't pulled the trigger. But I still love it. Like, I mean, it is going to probably going to be my only one. And also, um, I mean, there are things that I like about this size bag versus this, not just because it's a classic flap, but obviously the fact that it is a classic flap and the idea of it, it does appeal to me. But I have always been a proponent of seasonal bags because they just have the best value for what you get. But having one of these is, you know, is great. Is great to add to my collection. I feel like my Chanel bag collection is complete in a sense because of this. And uh, there are things that I still love about the classic flap anyway. And just based on me having worn it for, um, you know, the past few weeks, I can definitely tell there is a difference. It's more of an evening bag. 
and the fact that I can wear this on one shoulder as a shoulder bag, the length is so much more better than wearing this as a shoulder bag because this is way too long. It does have a bit more height and I love standing up my SLGs which really does help having this even just a little bit of height. I'll definitely make a more in-depth video in the long term but I'll just do some quick mod shots just to let you guys see how it looks like. Um, but yeah, so glad that I finally got this. are probably going to start asking me because I'm going to be wearing these so often. I got these crop tops from Aritzia. I'm going to link it down below. I chose the crop version. I got it in several colors. I got this sort of beigey grayish color. I got it in the red and the black. I also have a white coming and I just love it. You don't need to wear a bra because it's thick enough and because it's cropped it's just great for this so sweltering hot weather. And this is a at home facial device. I don't know if you're noticing that my skin is clearer because uh, this has changed my skincare routine for the better and I cannot wait to do a more in-depth review for you guys because I think this I literally think that this is the best at home facial device you can ever have. It is officially an aqua facial device or also known as aqua peel so it does uh, exfoliating, hydrating, and microdermabrasion at the same time, but it's so gentle. This is a Korean device. I, I'm like a big fan of a lot of Korean stuff. This whole packaging, just want to show you very quickly. This whole thing here is the charger too. So it's USB powered. You have all your cleaning tips right here, extra filters, and you have your compartment right here for your cleaning solution and the discharge solution. It uses negative pressure to create this whole vortex thing and sucks out uh, the gunk on your pores. It leaves your skin super smooth. I have this T-zone problem for a year now where I get super oily, which is very unusual because I have dry skin, but this is life-changing. I cannot recommend it any more than I do. Uh, I will do a more in-depth review, total like, uh, a tutorial maybe I can do like um let me know what you want me to do do you want me to do like a Q&A and then use this at the first at the same time to tell you guys about it or do you want me to do just a dedicated review of this and show you my skincare I can do either one so let me know but I cannot recommend this enough um, I will still link the links below even before my review. You can check it out. You can save uh, a little bit with my coupon code. Uh, yes, I did get sent this just for review. Uh, it's not sponsored or anything, but I am just super impressed. They just wanted me to try it out. Same with the pillow. They wanted me to try it out, see how if I liked it. I honestly cannot rave about this enough. And the pillow. I actually just went out and came back to film the what's in my bag. So this is a real true life uh, what's in my bag so of course with the classic flap you get your two flaps you've got your zippered pocket very tiny uh, little compartment there secret compartment and then you've got your second flap really beautiful CC and I have my sunglasses on top usually on my head but if I wanted to put it in the bag I will just put it on top and it's perfectly fine right there and also my hand sanitizer this is a pretty large bottle and then I have card holder, key holder, phone and my car key. So card holder standing up which is why I said it's perfect to stand up your SLGs with this bag. My six key holder tucked in the back. I'm also loving the front compartment for a quick access to a credit card or ID. I've been using that front compartment for that and I think it's perfect for that. Um, I've never had a classic flap before so this is kind of a nice treat to have you know other compartments and of course with the 21A series you're now no longer going to get authenticity cards and the stickers you're just going to get that metal plaque right there and my bag is made in France shiny light gold hardware and it's a super, super pretty color. 
the perfect shade of gray in my opinion darker gray than my cocoa handle which i absolutely love the gray on my cocoa handle we'll never get rid of that one because that's the closest to a white bag that i'll ever get but this is a true gray right so this will be also super versatile if, if not more versatile because it goes with jeans it goes with white outfits it goes with colorful outfits if you're new to my channel i'd love to have you back especially if you enjoy this video then uh, give it a like and subscribe thank you all so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys again very soon bye